What's up, you guys? What's up, you guys? So I'm here with a new video today, and I'm here to bring you guys what I feel are the top 10 best side deck cards for this October 2018 format. Uh, you guys already know that we've passed the 200th YCS, and we've had... Basically, I think there's just been regionals pretty much since then, and you guys have seen a lot of the deck profiles, of course, from the 200th YCS, from the regionals that have taken place, and I've basically just been researching that, and, you know, of course, posting in the community tab, asking you guys what you felt the top 10 best side deck cards were, and I've compiled a list. I originally was going to do five, and then I figured, you know what, no, there's way more than five really good side deck cards, so... These are what I feel are, without a doubt, some of the best side deck cards for the current format, as well as some of the best options. And believe it or not, like I try to keep it as budget as possible. It's kind of hard to do when like cards become staple, like cards become expensive. But with reprints and what whatnot, I feel the cards are easier to get. But without further ado, we're gonna go into the cards. I'm gonna start with monsters, then go to spells, and go to traps. You guys know how we do. Uh, so I'm gonna start with number one. So and these are in no particular order in the sense that they do not not one card is not better than the other. So. So, anyways, we're going to start with Inspector Border. So, Inspector Border is a card that has been seeing a lot of play recently, a lot of decks played in the side deck. And the reason why you play this card is because of how good it is against Alter Guys. This card is so hard for Alter Guys to out, and it's also just really good against Trick Stars. It's good against pretty much every deck because it basically makes it while you have it on the board, only one monster can activate its effect. And I mean, that literally just locks your opponent out. If you have this backed up with Back Row, that's why Alter Guys play it in their side deck against the Mirror Match. It's really hard to answer this card. It's 2,000 attack, 2,000 defense. Also, this card is busted in Cyber Dragon because it can search it because, yeah, it's a machine, it's light, like, it's crazy this card is actually really really good against the board against pretty much everything because most decks struggle with it so i really like this card i don't think it's good against pure sky striker but i feel it's good against pretty much everything else it has applications against every other matchup so it's definitely a card you guys should consider and also it has been reprinted so this card is not as expensive as it once was so it's a lot easier to get if you're on a budget so uh, that's one of the first cards. One of the second cards, again, another card that got a reprint, which is really important, is Gamma. So Gamma is a card that I see strictly in the side decks these days. It used to see a lot of main deck play, and now it's more so in the side deck. Now, this card, you can decide decide it if you want or not. The problem with this card is it does include having to play the Vanilla Brick Driver, but the value this card gets is insane. The fact that you're able to, you know, just stop any monster effect, summon out the two guys, and then it just negates the monster is crazy. I think a lot of people misplay with this card. I think a lot of people are just trying to use this card to summon Omega. They're trying to negate when they're doing their turn to stop a hand trap and then, you know, make an Omega or make a 8 or make a rank 2 or something out of it. But I've noticed that the most effective way to use this card is when your opponent's going off. You take away one of their resources and it's really solid. Like being able to hit the Firewall, being able to hit the Summon Sorcerers, the Azold, any of those cards is just insane now with Gamma. And I think Gamma is really good. I think it has a lot of applications against Goki. It's not good against Sky Striker, but it's good against Goki. It's good against, um, you know, just pretty much other decks in the format. It has applications. I feel it's just one of the best side deck cards for Goki because it's a card that, you know, you can play, uh, you can play, and it's just really, really solid. So I like this card. I think you guys would agree that since it got the reprint, it's a lot easier to get because back when these were like 15, 20 bucks each as ultra rares, uh, it was definitely a lot harder to get if you were on a budget. But like I said, I'm trying to make this as budget friendly as possible. So uh, Gamma is definitely a card I really like. And speaking of Goki hate, we have, of course, Winter Cherries. I wasn't so sure if I wanted to include this on the list, but I noticed that a lot of people are still citing this card, and it's mostly for Goki. You guys already know, you hit the Firewall, you hit the Zold, you hit the Summon Sorceress. Uh, you can also use this against Pure Sky Striker. Being able to hit Haya, uh, not Hayate, but being able to hit uh, Kagari is really good. That's their main one. You guys already know, like, out of the three links they go into, uh, Kagari is the main one. Being able to Cherry's Way, the Kagari is really solid. And I really like this card. Now, people say it's not that good in the mirror, but I hear mixed reviews. I actually do not play Pure Sky Striker, but from what I've heard, this card is really good in the mirror match so i feel that it definitely deserves recognition plus the fact that it's good against you know it's good against a lot of other decks you can apply it against spirals with double helix you can apply it to crusadia with equimax you can use it against a lot of just random decks and i think that's really good about it it's also a tuner depending on what your deck plays, but I think this card has a lot of applications. And I think it's just a matter of coming down to being able to know when to use it. And it's also been reprinted in the Megatons as a Megaton version, so this card is also budget friendly as well. Like I said, I'm going to try to make this as budget friendly as possible because I want you guys to be able to afford the cards. So uh, definitely Winter Cherries is a card that I see a lot of people playing. And I think it's solid against Goki, Striker, and just other matches in general. So it's a good side deck pick. Uh, it does require you to dedicate extra deck cards, but uh, if you're already playing Cherries, you're already prepared for that. 
I'd say probably the number one, uh, main, it's become basically a main deck card, crazy as it is, but I feel that some decks do not play it in the main deck, they play it in the side deck because they want to be able to, you know, leave more room, but uh, that's Shared Ride, and this card is the nuts, this card is Max C, this card literally wins the Sky Striker Mirror Match, this card just gets so much advantage, so much tempo, this card is the nuts, and I, I can't say anything more about it. This card has applications against Goki. It has applications against a lot of matches. I feel it really shines in pure Sky Striker. You can decide to main deck it if you want. If you're not, you're siding it when you're going first against them. This card is a blowout. It's maxi. Like, it's maxi, and you can play three copies. Like, why would you not have this somewhere in your main or side deck? So, yeah, Shared Ride, without a doubt, is one of the best cards. On to more spells, or actually the last spell in this list. This is my one of my all-time favorite cards. I played in the main deck of Mech Knight Invoked. I think this card is the nuts in the side deck, and that is Mind Control. This card is insane. Why this card is at three blows my mind. When it was at one, it was a you know it was during the Dino Rabbit days. It was a good one of. The fact that this card is at three, it just blows my mind. It used to be you could mind control, you know, a level four, you know, possibly in the Dino Mirror Magic, make a Loggy or Dolka. That was awesome. That could win a game. But you have three copies of them, and you can just link climb for free. You can steal a Sky Striker card and link into another Sky Striker card or climb the link ladder for free. You play Mech Knights, you literally set it, create a column, and then activate and take your opponent's monster for free. Like... This card is just absurd, like absolutely absurd, and I love it. I absolutely love it. So I think this card is definitely a staple uh, card in the side deck. I feel every deck should be playing this. I think this card is just insane. And that's it for basically all the spells. Now just uh, trap cards. Uh, I had to go with evenly matched. Only going second decks play this in the main deck, but going second. Now I know a lot of people don't like this card. You'll hear a lot of professional players say they don't like this card. That doesn't do anything for them. I don't know, you guys. I feel like this card still does a lot. It's really good against Pure being able to just evenly away everything. It's really good against Alter Guys, Draco, any of those a rogue and anti-meta decks. This card just really shines. And if you're playing and going second deck like Mech Knight Invoked or Cyber Dragons, this card's insane. So nothing more I can say about that. I'd say probably one of the most uh, popular side deck cards that's really gone up in play is Heavy Storm Duster. Now, you can use Heavy Storm Duster, Twin Twister, MST, Cosmic Cyclone, etc., etc., all those cards. I think Heavy Storm Duster has really started to see a lot of play for the fact that you don't have to discard. You can set this card, and you can end phase, just blow your opponent out with it. I've seen a lot of decks go as far as to main deck this card, but I noticed a lot of decks played in the side deck. I think it's really good against Pure Striker. I think it's really good against Alter Guys, True Draco, any back row decks. And I think this card is just awesome because it's a Twin Twister that basically you lose no advantage you use a huge swing in tempo and i think it's just a great card if you're playing trick star sky strikers being able to you know get reincarnation make them set cards and then blow them out with duster is insane it's also really good against trick stars because they'll light stage this and then at the end phase you can activate and blow out two cards so this card i feel has definitely become a staple either in the main or side deck all these cards like i said are like main deck or side deck staples that you'll see across the board so they're definitely cards I wanted to bring to your guys' attention. Uh, next card is Red Reboot. I've seen a lot of people playing this card. Self-explanatory. It's really good against Draco, really good against Alter Geist. This card's insane against Alter Geist. You just blow them out with this card, you to cam. Uh, I really like this card. I think this is a card that uh, if your deck can support it, I feel you should play it. I feel like if your deck is too slow to OTK, be careful with this card. Having to pay half your life points sucks. Like, granted, you might get lucky and be able to set it and then activate and not have to pay half your life points, but you really want to be activating it from the hand and then just blowing out your opponent. So I feel like if your deck can support it, definitely play Red Reboot. If not, uh, you know, double up on the Heavy Storm Dusters, the Twin Twisters, the other forms of back row removal so that the traps just never activate. So just another card you guys can have at your disposal. Uh, next, we're getting towards the end, uh, Mind Crush. So, Mind Crush, what can I say about Mind Crush? Every deck searches, like, every deck searches in one way or another. Goki searches, Sky Striker searches, everything searches. They get greedy, they search, double engage, Mind Crush, double engage, game over. Like, they lose so much tempo, so much advantage. Uh, this card is great. Some people main deck it. I don't really think it's main deck worthy that much anymore, but I think it's really good in the side deck. You're going first. Really good card to set. Activate when your opponent reveals information. Really good against Trickstar. Hit the double Lycris. Hit whatever Candina surges. Good against evenly match. Hit the evenly out of their hand. I've actually lost to that when I've mind crushed my evenly match. So card I think is just still really good. This is a common, so you guys can definitely get it. Like I said, a lot of these cards are all budget friendly, which I really like about this list that we compiled together. And this is a video we compiled together, you guys. So, you know, shout out to you guys for coming up with this list i think this list is great but uh mind crush is just so good against pretty much any deck every deck searches every deck wants to search you want to get free advantage mind crush is just insane so i think mind crush is definitely uh, a side deck staple uh this format and last but not least 
I have Magic Deflector. I've seen a lot of people talk about this card, and I'm going to talk about it too. So this card saw a lot of play during the Monarch Cosmo format, and it was because of Twin Twister. It was because of, you know, what it does is it negates equip cards, fields, uh, field cards, continuous quick play, everything. And this card is mostly for Twin Twister. You just flip this, and they just, you know, their Twin Twister just fizzles. It was good against all the field spells like Cosmo, Town, Domain, you know, all those things. Any kind of quick plays like... Um, Oh, like Stormforth, like man, like this card was the nuts. And I mean, now this card is insane against Pure Striker. This card is the nuts against Pure Striker. You hit so many cards in their deck that they just really don't know how to recover. So I really like this card. I think it's really good in Alter guys. You go Deflector, turn off their turn, and then summon a Multi Faker, and then you're just miles and miles ahead of them. But yeah, this is definitely a card that I wanted to include. So I put it at the number 10 spot, even though this doesn't have any real order. But I thought it was a card we definitely should include in this video. So Deflector is that 10th card. And that's it, you guys. That is 10 really good, pretty cheap side deck cards you guys can side. And you can side them in any numbers you want. I think a lot of these are like three ofs, just depending on what your side deck calls for. And I know you're thinking slim. This is like 20. This is like if I do the math, this is 30 cards I could side deck. I could basically build two side decks. That's true, you guys, but think about the applications. Think about what you want to do. Like, if you're playing against Goki, do you want to side Cherries? Do you want to side Gamma? Like, what is your game plan? And, you know, you can build a really solid side deck. Like, I can build a side deck for you guys right now, like a three of side deck. This would be for Altergeist. I would have this for Pure. I would also have Mind Control for Pure. I would have um, Heavy Storm Duster because it covers not only Pure, but also covers Altergeist. And like as the last card, I would probably go back and forth between Mind Crush and Evenly. I feel like if I'm forced to go first, Mind Crush is good. If I'm going second, I think Evenly is really good. It just depends what you want to play. And you don't have to play three of all these cards. You can go a couple of ratios of two ofs here and there. And you can just get really good overall cards. And what I like about a lot of these cards is they are good for more than one matchup. And I think that's what you want to do is you want side deck cards that don't only hit one matchup, but hit up hit matches across the board but yeah uh, that's it for today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to smash that like button i'd like to see 50 plus likes on this video just so i know you guys really enjoyed this video if you want to see more like top 10 top 5 you know competitive decks budget decks side deck cards side decks is where i really like to talk about cards like tech stuff you guys can do just let me know in the comments below also give me your thoughts i'm sure i missed some cards but these were the cards that i personally have been citing uh, in all the regionals of YCSs I've attended so far this season and even last season. So I think they're just really solid overall. But anyways, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think about citing this format and how you go about, you know, combating the best decks of the format. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching.